Hello, cinephiles! Welcome back to Cinema B-Side. I am, of course, Todd, and today we're going to the NBCU FYC house, because just like Netflix has a whole studio at Rally, NBC rented a whole hotel in Hollywood, and today they're doing an FYC event for those cooking shows with Amy Poehler, one called Making It and one called Baking It. That's what we're doing today. And after, we're gonna bake our own cookies or something. So, if you're ready, let's go. Hello, cinephiles. It's me, Todd. I'm in the studio. As you can see, I just wanted to let everyone know that the best way to support the channel is to subscribe to my Patreon, where not only do you become a member of the community, you get early access to the B-side videos, as well as watch-throughs of movies or TV shows we are covering, and other movie reactions and commentaries from a filmmaker's perspective. And if that's out of your budget, no worries, just hit that like button. It really does help out the channel with the algorithm. And of course, subscribe to get the latest videos delivered directly to you. Hit that notification bell to be alerted of the newest uploads, and please share these videos with your friends and family. And now, back to our regularly scheduled program. For those that are new here, you might be wondering, what is the FYC? What does FYC mean? So FYC stands for For Your Consideration. What they do at these events is they bring the Television Academy members, the ones that can vote for the Emmys, they play an episode that they're going to submit for Emmys, they bring the cast out, uh, they do a Q&A, sometimes they have a host that does the Q&A, uh, other times they have a microphone and the audience can ask questions, it all just really depends on how the day's set up. And then they have a little after party. And then today's after party, we're gonna make cookies or something on the roof, <laughs> on the roof of this hotel. Not a bad way to spend my Sunday morning, huh? And then later, I'm gonna do a two banger today. So then after the making it and baking it event, I'm heading over to the Pacific Design Center for the Loki FYC event. Yes! So excited. I love all the Marvel movies and how they are setting up this next phase with the multiverse. What do you think, E.T.? You gonna make some cookies today? Here we are at the NBCU FYC house. It's a whole hotel, look at that. And later we're going up there to the roof. Now the event at the hotel here is directly across the street from the Capitol Records building. Check that out, boom. So cool. Uh, I just went through check-in and right off the bat we get some props from This Is Us. Must be one of the cars on the show. And here it is, this is what we're here for today, baking it, making it. And Amy Poehler will be here later on. Yeah, check it, one of the voice chairs. We can get off the elevator and they have props and like a mini set from the show Gaslight. Look at this. Water game was wrong, Martha was right. So who's watched Gaslit? I've listened to the podcast. So I listened to the podcast that this show was based on, but I have not watched the show yet. I wanted to hear everything from the podcast first before diving into the show. But I've just been busy with all these events for you guys. Costumes from the girl from Plainville. Must be something she wore to court or something. These are costumes from Candy. And yeah, there he is. 
Chucky himself. Who's watched Chucky? I watched uh, almost all the first season so far. And there's some costumes from Russian Doll. Um, 
these two, <laughs> Nick and Amy, uh, if you've watched the show, do love puns. Yes. <laughs> you know, I maybe more than I should. So here is uh, a pun off from an episode. Have a look. One of our producers, Lisa Colsenko, came up with a lot of great ideas that we weren't sure necessarily. We knew we wanted to film because they were very funny, but uh, I, if I recall, some of it was like, well, maybe some of this will land on social media, some of this will be promos, some of this will be whatever. And then in the course of doing it, we just sort of followed what worked and what worked um, in the shooting a lot of times were things like that that had kind of a improv component where we would, you know, write, you know, pages and pages of, um, you know, so of, of groaners sometimes, <laughs> and, just, and just play with what, like, it, play with those moments where you and Nick were making each other laugh and trying to find those sort of, those uh, uh, moments of fun that, that seemed natural and improv between you guys. So in those moments, I mean, do you have an earpiece? Is someone feeding you? You and Nick are doing it on the spot in the moment. That's actually one of, you know, uh, we, we improvise quite a bit, but a lot of what Neil's talking about are, you know, really written bits that we must memorize. <laughs> oh, and it's so hard to memorize. Um, <laughs> but no, but well, that no, no earpiece yet. That feels like once I get an earpiece, it feels like I need to maybe hang it up. <laughs> um, so uh, we mentioned here, Maya Rudolph and Andy Samberg. They, of course, are the hosts of Baking It, and they're so wonderful and delightful on there. Um, I, but really, I mean, is that like the best you guys can do? <laughs> <laughs> So you knew exactly who to call up. Yeah. yeah, they're such incredible, genius people, and you know we really wanted to try to have friends, people who loved each other, who were, um, and you know you kind of can't fake that. And Andy and Maya uh, are much more. Uh, they're just musical people, right? They're always hanging around and laughing and joking and singing songs. And so when we were developing Baking It, we said, let's take advantage of what they do naturally. Yeah. For Baking It, we hired uh, in the genius uh, uh, musical comedy duo, Zach Reno and Jessica McKenna, and uh, they wrote a number of songs, some we produced, some didn't, um, some we didn't, but they wrote all the music for the show, the little musical interstitials, some of the musical tags and things that we use, and this just came out of them talking to Maya, and, and Maya had said a number of times, shooting the show, how much she prefers pie, how much she hates ice cream on pie. It was just the talk, it was the talk of the green room, you know? So, um, they, they between the between the three of them, very early on, said, well, we'll do a song about how you, you prefer pie, and they tried a few different things, and then they landed on this sort of 80s, like, this sort of vibe, and then I think we actually shot it on the last day in, like, 20 minutes, right? Because we squeezed a lot of that stuff in, but, yeah, they wrote a ton of music, and it was very it's hard fun. to tell, because the video was so <laughs> tense. <laughs> 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 But yeah, they, they, it was very collaborative. Andy, Andy and Maya and Jess and Zach, and um, we, we were just rolling that stuff out all the time and capturing it when we could. And uh, uh, they're, they're just great. I mean, they, they wrote so many good things. Uh, and any of the stuff that ended up on the cutting room floor is, is great. They're really wonderful. But yeah, we hired them. It was like, oh, we got Andy and Maya. This is going. This show's going to have a lot of music, and they were the they were the people to do it. And they did an amazing job. Any time a show gets you behind the scenes. Um, and shows you how things are made and people's thought and failure. It's important to show how things don't work. Um, so uh, that was, uh, it was definitely, but it, it is, it just becomes like a, a decision and your point about COVID, I think a lot of people during COVID said, well, what, what, how do I want to use my hands, use my brain? What do I want to encourage my kids to do? What can I do to alleviate some of this intense pressure? We also went into season three pre-pandemic and we had all the challenges locked in and then when the pandemic happened we actually shot season three um, kind of in the September after the pandemic and we ch ended up changing a lot of our challenges to make sure that they you know, spoke to the world that we were living in. So, you know, changing your closet into an office space or a more space for your loved one, like changing your backyard into something like our like Bonanza so that you could, there was some take home, but we really wanted it to make it feel like you could inspire people to go and do something and, and change your world. And speaking of season three, almost everybody on season three had seen the previous seasons of the 
show before they even, there were even some people who had just dabbled and had gotten the message and then had started crafting or started sort of taking things more seriously based on the show, which was always nice to see and when you see it on social media and stuff, like that people go, oh, I watched the show and I tried it and here it is. And that was always kind of the message of it, that after the, when the credits would roll, you hope that people would be inspired to actually go make something or go do something. And if Nick was here, he would echo what we were saying, which is really important to him. You know, he cares very deeply about where he gets his materials. He's a woodworker. He he knows um, how important it is, our, our forests and our trees, and he works hard to, uh, personally, behind the scenes, to help uh, our, our ever-dwindling environment and the trees that keep us alive. So um, we talked a lot about materials this year. That was a big, big uh, thing thematically we all talked about, which is what do materials mean and how can we try to, um, in this time, use the best ones in the best way. I like the making it episode where uh, they make Halloween costumes and they genuinely scare you, but you genuinely jump scared. Yes, and I like the making it episode where they, where they have a nut roast, where, where we put a bunch of different nuts in a little chair and, and meal a bunch of roasts, and so we roast those nuts. <laughs> Oh, it's just so funny. I don't know what we did here. It was like, oh, well, who joined us? Mike and Amy. Ready to fly for this class? It's been really fun to answer more guys now and to think about how Mike and Amy think they're so great. <laughs> We are headed up to the roof now to decorate some cookies. So let's see, we go pick up our cookie box and our decorating. Check this out. Wow. Let's see. Look at this. Sweet Bees Bake Shop. And that's one event down, one to go. Loki is up next, so stay tuned for that. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and click the social media links, and watch the next video for Loki.